Hey, this is HKPSG1 Shooter. Thanks for tuning in. On this video, we're going out on the inlet to do some commercial oyster harvesting. Right now we're running through the channel in Weston Flats. You see it's marked with these poles. At the end of this video, you'll see the importance of these poles. So stay tuned. Me with dumping. <laughs> Mess. Come down to spill half of in the boat. Well, that's two anyway. That's a start. We'll work here. These look pretty good up here by this grass. So the objective here is to take these clusters and break them down a little bit. Try to tap off everything that's smaller than about three inches. This procedure is what is known as cull in place. While most of the commercial harvesters have the common sense to understand this, a lot of the recreational harvesters do not. And since cull in place is a recommendation but not an enforced regulation, this leads to the decimation of public oyster beds. Uh, for many years, I've been striving to get cull in place regulations written into our laws here in South Carolina. Yep. Them are right decent. four bushels, actually five now. Each five gallon bucket to the bottom ring counts as a half a bushel, okay. but we fill ours to the top just so we know we're good. Actually we got five in here now. I'm gonna try for at least eight. Four 
four or five live ones right there. Yep. What's on that trap? I don't know. It's, it's hard ground over there all the way to the trap. Beyond that, though, there's a bog. I know it. They're probably growing like crazy on that, aren't they? Come on, my fair. Huh? I believe you can finish a bucket over here. Okay. Two of them. Yeah, just. Well, they pull off of that. Well, not just that, but over here in the grass. Look at it over here. Get them all over that trap. There's some big ones there. Yeah, but the question is, will they pull off of it? My thumb will. Yeah, it's been here a while. Look at those right there. Yeah. Watch this. I tell you though, if it if the mud gets any deeper than this though, yeah. I'm not trying it because these are just knee boots. They ain't made to cross really deep mud. <laughs> You'll be looking for your boots. In the mud out here. You'd be looking for me in the mud. You'd I'm not looking, getting in it. You might be looking for the person wearing the boot. We need to hit that one back there, Dan. Where? Behind us. That's pretty good, too. That's a good rock over there, too, ain't it? Yeah. Yep. Nobody works it. Trying to take everything little and everything dead off of them. Leave it out here so it can grow. Well, that's ten bushels for today. Not too bad. Coming up. day and another dollar. After dropping off our load of 10 bushels at the restaurant, I'm now returning to port, heading back into my channel. This is HKPSG1 Shooter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And if you have a chance to, come on down to the coast and enjoy a pot of fresh steamed oysters. Pretty hard to beat that on a cool fall night. Again, thanks for watching. This is HKPSG1 Shooter, signing off.